Blog Talk Radio. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to Real Talk, Real Plans with Riri and Coco. Yay! It's always so much fun when you're back. Aw, oh, thank you. I miss you so much. Oh, not that you? Yes, not that I don't enjoy having guest hosts, but, you know, it's always a vibe when we get together. Aw, look at that. That's so sweet. It's the nicest thing anybody says to me all day. All day. You know what I'm saying? And I got so much to tell you. So oh. much to <laughs> Me too. You ain't gonna believe what I did. Oh boy. I don't think anybody's gonna believe it. Oh tell me. I'm going to go wow. Uh, you got a ticket. Yep, I got a ticket. How amazing. Don't you think that's crazy, though? No. I just got to say, you know what it is? It's not that I have FOMO, because that's not it at all. I just have to see what all the hoopla is about. I just don't really believe, like, it's that spectacular that people don't sleep for days before the event. And, you know, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that's for people who don't go nowhere, but you go somewhere every week. (laughs) Maybe. I don't know. You we'll know what see. I'm saying? I just, I just got to see. Well, I'm excited and I'm jealous. Like, I mean that in the best Well, don't way. be. Don't don't be yet. Wait till we find out what it's all about. If it's just okay. hype or, so, or if it's just really amazing and you can't miss it. Well, let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Can we go ahead and set up the show? For the go wild time, like can we get one show while we there, and then a follow up yeah. show? Yeah. Because last go round we kind of dropped the ball, and it wasn't you, it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? It just. Oh, for so which 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 thing? The SGS. Oh, well, for good reason. But okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I would yeah. love to, you know, do some because I I plan on I did one after. Love and Light. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll probably try to do one after. And is that Tiffany? Yes. And I got to do CPC. And you got to do CPC. And I got a ticket for Galentine's with a plan. All right now. Um, okay. I'm really, really, really debating on trying to get a ticket for. Um, The planner, planner ladies in uh, Tennessee. It's in Nashville, and Nashville isn't that far. And when is that? Huh? When is that one? Oh, that that's in October. October. I think you'll be gone again. Well, for I'll be gone for my birthday. Yeah. 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 So. Um, you know, either way, I'm thinking of going. Um, I'm really excited about about just going to these things because my time is coming, y'all. My time is coming. Counting down. Hello. Got almost one year left uh, before. I'm <laughs> and you've done a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I ain't touched my body. Well, I ain't touched my body out recently. Yeah, I was about to say. I'm like. No, I'm sorry. I'm opening pen. That's okay. No. I'm trying to find my um my other earbud. I can't stand to lose something. I found the one earbud, and I was like, oh, now I just got to find the case. Find the case. But And I opened the case, the other earbud not in there. I lose earbuds. I buy so many earbuds. It's crazy. Well, I still got that pair of headphones you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is that's good. Um, I haven't lost them. I don't use them as often as I need to, but I haven't lost them. Um, so I 
named this week's episode, um, We Don't Talk About. And um, it's just so We don't talk about Bruno. Well, yeah, that's kind of where it came from. We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about the elephant in the room. Oh, okay. You know, I talked about shipping shenanigans. We always talk about the copycat conundrum. We just don't talk about it. But this week, it's really been on my heart about the whole, everybody has been really, well, first, let's just talk about, let me talk about two things that we don't ever talk about. I mean, that we, we don't need to talk about. We don't need to say it out loud, but I'm just going to go ahead and get it out there. I have been fighting this cicada book that's been in my garage, and I have given the people a warning that if you may just scream. Me fall in the background and run and the quality gets bad, you know why. It's because the bug has come out of hiding and it tried to kill me, and so I ran uh-huh. away. Well, today, something else has run into the garage. Oh, God, no. You need a cat. You don't sound like you care. No, I say you need a cat. Do you hear me? No, I couldn't. Say it again. Wait, maybe you didn't hear me. I said, oh, Lord, you need a cat. I need a cat. Yes. Because a lizard ran into here today. Oh, not no. A bitty, not a bit, little bitty lizard either. It was longer than my hand. Oh, my God. Yeah, my cats love to kill lizards. <laughs> I ain't got to die. But I just don't <laughs> want it to run over my feet. Okay? Oh, no. So I'm telling you and the people. And fall is coming. Child, it's all going to be coming in. If y'all hear me. <laughs> no, Lord, don't kill yourself. Listen, I have listen. to call phone phone. You're like, oh. she down on the couch in the garage. Oh, she going to hear it. Oh, she shit. She is going to hear it. Um, so that's the first thing we're going to talk about. We're not going to talk about the things that keep trying to attack me um, in here. And the second thing I want to talk about is, y'all, hmm. My son and his penis obsession. So when he was younger, he would talk about how it's growing and it's getting big, and he what he mean what he meant then was it's getting erect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, mom, it's getting big again. It's stuck in the table. Son, get that thing off my table. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm so happy he talked to me about everything. So, yeah. Oh my God, I'm so glad he doesn't listen to my show. So the joy of being a boy mom. The joy of being a boy mom. So then one summer he goes to my sister's and he wakes up and he has something in his underwear and he is obsessed. Oh, <laughs> Why is this happening to me? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, did he have uh, <laughs> aquatic degrees? <laughs> yes, he did. And I guess, you know, you know I don't remember <laughs> what I dreamed about. <laughs> Whatever it was, it was exciting. <laughs> Whatever it was, right? Oh, God, that is too funny. Um, so I'm like, okay, okay. Um, so now at the dinner, t- at the dinner table tonight, mm-hmm. he talks about beating his meat. Oh, Jesus. But you know what? I love that. I love, not that he does that, but I love that y'all talk about it at the dinner table. When my kids were in school, you know, before they got grown, we talked about everything at dinner. People would have been shocked listening to some of our conversations. But it made me very comfortable because they let me know that my kids don't have a problem talking to me about anything. Agreed. Um, he did not say that he was beating his meat cut. <laughs> he was he I asked him to go get me some more gravy. This is how this conversation started, right? Oh God. 
go get me some gravy on top of my meat. He said, well, let me finish my meat. <laughs> and I just looked at him. And he said, okay, well, let me finish eating my meat. <laughs> I just looked at him again, and I was like, that's kind of worse. He was like, yeah, it kind of sounded like beating my meat. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> You can't say that to your mother. He was like, what, beating my meat? And I'm like, yeah. He was like, but I'm not beating my meat. I, I'm just, I was just telling you it, it sounded like it. And I was like, oh, my God, don't say beating your meat one more time. And so that's how the tag of the show came. We don't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. How he okay. just got so gross so quick? I just saw him like two months ago. So then he's like, what? I'm 13. I'll be my meat. I'm not yet. Oh, it's funny. Oh. You just start taking him long shot. Oh. Hey, hey. As funky as he used to be, I don't care how long he stays his ass in the shower. Just get in there. Yeah, that's how you know. When they start wanting to go take, they're like, oh, I'm going to take a shower. Wait a minute. I didn't have to tell you to go take a shower. Okay. Yeah, that's how you know it's happening. Your water bill go up. Oh, Lord. So, yeah, my son is just on one, and I just cannot believe it. I mean, I can believe it, but I, I can't believe that he's so comfortable talking to me about it. Well, I'm happy. I am, too. I know that nobody's going to diddle his penis, and he's not going to tell me, you know? Oh, no. No, he will say. That's um, good. Also, he did his first babysitting gig alone this weekend. Hello. And so he said he was exhausted, like he really did some goddamn work. Oh, how old was the child? Tell you oh, it's not too bad. No, listen. He 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 worries him. He worries him. He was, he was over here two weekends ago, which is why. That had to go over there this weekend. He was over here two weekends ago, and, you know, that was watching them. But, you know, we're going to feed you demo. So, of course, I'm in there. Girl, why he tried to push the plate off the table because he didn't want to eat it? Uh-uh. I hope his mama don't listen to the show. I, will, I don't care if she do. She my cousin. I told her. I was, oh. like, boy, I, I was like, boy, I beat your ass. <laughs> I know that's right. I don't know that came out of me like, uh uh-uh. They make you lose your religion real quick. I don't, I don't care. Nothing about you not wanting to eat it, but as far as making something else for me to clean up, oh, hell no. Mm-hmm. You can forget it. No. Mm. No. Um. So that is how the name of the show came. And I just I just had to tell somebody. And I'm so glad that it was you. Yeah, because that shit tickles me. Girl, he said, be my meat. I said, we? Oh, uh-uh, nah. Um, Okay, so let me just say, get this out the way. Oh, <laughs> on, a, on a whole nother thing. Y'all, <clears throat> if you'd like to join in on the conversation tonight, Coco, <laughs> do you want to do this? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, if you'd like to you know, I'm trying to pack for my trip. <laughs> girl, because you're leaving again. Yeah, of course. Um. If you'd like to call in tonight, the guest call in number is five one five six zero two nine six eight zero. Again, that number is five one five six zero two nine six eight zero. Call in and chit chat with us. Tell us something good because I have questions for you today. Oh um, I do. I do. I have all the questions. So um, have you been playing it? Let me just start there with your ass. No, and look, I need to because I was talking to my daughter today, and I was like, well, wait, where was I when that happened? And I was like, wait, where did I go? And she just said something everywhere, but I haven't been writing it down. Now I can go back in my Google Photos and the Google, baby. Anyway, I can go back in my Google Photos and see where I was on that day. But Google will get you, if you're a cheating person or you're doing stuff, you something you ain't supposed to, that shit will get you in trouble. I got on my phone the other morning, and it says July timestamps or something, July something. Girl, I looked at it. When I tell you, everywhere I went, how long I was there, I had places I had forgot I had even gone. See what I'm saying? I was like, oh, this is this is 
something else. And I know I have seen that before, but I guess I never really looked into it, and it just showed my whole life. Went to the airport, the uh, rental car place, where I went to eat, what toll booth I went through, how long you were here, what what hotel. I mean, every stop you made. Yeah, Google knows you shit, bro. Baby knows everything about you. I was like, well, damn, so anyway, I could go back to that to figure out where I was so I could back plan, thank God for Google in that situation. But, um, no, the last couple of weeks I have not been. My apologies to the planning world. <laughs> <laughs> apologies to that man. <laughs> yeah, child, I ain't been, I ain't been home. I, I just, this is my first weekend home in a long time. Oh, I know. You stay on uh, in them streets, okay? I do. I do. I be at the airport more than the damn airplane. <laughs> I be in the air, and you just be chilling and waiting. I be chilling, waiting to get on or get off. Yeah. Next year, everyone's like, oh, 20, you get so busy. I said, yeah, that's 2023. 2024, I'm going to be good and broke, so I'll be home. You can catch me home every day next year. Every day. Yeah. Unless it's a work Okay. Trip. Y'all mark this down, because we know just like, she know her ass ain't gonna be at home. Mm-mm. The only thing I have planned for next year is go out. And for next year too. There's something else I have. Oh huh? no, because that's now. Okay, okay. What? Um, go out. I was thinking it was this year, but no, that is. No, it's next year. Yeah, but other than that, girl, I'm gonna stay still. Right? <laughs> my my social life, my bank has not, my financial life has not caught up with my social life. So I need to pay off a whole bunch of stuff. So that'll be fine. Yeah. I'll cruise next month, though. Oh, cannot wait. 39 days. 39 days. That is so awesome. Yeah, 39 days. And that is for the big 5 Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is going to be fine. Fun. Yeah, going to be fun. So... My question for the people, um, my people, my question for the people, did you resist the call of the Hobonichi? Because Hobonichi release day is a really big thing um, in the planner community. Um, um, or did you fall down the Sterling Inc. rabbit hole um, instead? And I know that the stir, I mean, that Hobonichi is a really big deal when even Sonia is like, I know about Hobonichi. I know yeah, I yeah. Read it. yeah. I don't read it. She's like, yeah, yeah, so I don't read it. Oh, Lord. I know. I'm like, what are you learning over there? Because it's incorrect. Oh, shit. Um, so, um, so, did you buy a Hobonichi? Have you ever bought a Hobonichi? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I have. What kind of Hobonichi did you buy? A little slim one, what you call it? Like a week? Yeah, weeks. That's it. Because I even bought the modem, modem brand weeks cover. I had my kids to buy for, to put it on my Amazon wish list one year, either last year or the year before, for my birthday. And, um, yeah, I have the cover for that and everything. I never used it. Never. Nope. I don't even know whether, well, it's in one of them drawers in there with all my other stuff, the whole Benici, um the modem thing. I might have should have sold it from you. Yeah, if you could find it. <laughs> it's in there. But you remember when my mother-in-law moved in and I had to move all my stuff because I also still have some bins in my bedroom that have stuff that I never put back in the craft room. Oh, in the So it may be in there, yeah. Um, I am trying really hard to resist the Hobonichi call. Go oh, on. Because I don't want to be like you. <laughs> oh, shot <laughs> fired. I mean, not just you, but like me. I mean, last year I bought that Sterling Ink and I did not use it. Um, well, you know what I bought? What'd you buy? The last year, last year's Villa Beautiful Advent box. I bought it this year. 
just a couple weeks ago because I wanted that tote bag. And then it was something else that I wanted. And so I needed it so bad that I can't even remember. But if I excuse me, bought them separately, it would have wound up being as much as the Advent box. You talking now, about that cream, uh, cream tote bag? Yeah. Because I want to put – this is crazy. I don't even want to say it out loud. I want to put my pins. I have a bunch of pins, you know, uh, the, the stick pins, the ones you – you know, a bunch of pins and buttons that I want to put them on there. Now, I don't know why I have to put them on there because I have them on the bag now. It was yeah. just one – it was one day I was just like, I was like, oh, I need that bag. And I said, let me go order it because I had a $5 coupon, right? So it was a hundred and something dollars that I got five dollars off. And the, and listen, I un I opened it, but nothing is out the pack. I have I don't even know what's inside the little advent packs. Uh-huh. It was academia, right, or something. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. and actually, I think I have it right here. The advent box. Yeah, from last year. At least it didn't come with a rock. <laughs> Baby, because there's luxury and simplicity. Oh, shit. <laughs> something as simple as a rock. Girl. Oh, Lord, mercy. Um, Where is my earbud? You know what I think? You think the cat ate it? No. No, I don't let him in my bedroom. Because you know what? The older I'm getting, my allergies are getting bad again. I think I'm allergic to the more shit. <laughs> um, okay. Um, so I have, still have my Isis Ella Jewel pink bag that I have not opened. I don't even know why I bought it when I bought it. What you buy? Do you remember that at, uh, Isis Ella Jewel, the jewel oh. box, it had that big pocketbook with Lily on it? Mm-hmm. I don't know why I bought that. Say something. Um, uh, Lily is starting to give hating vibes. Not as not the big head and all, and it is Lily is cuter, much cuter. Oh. Well, that's that's nice. <laughs> Let me just leave. But that how there. is she giving Lily? Because it's just like she's everywhere now, like kind of like Peyton. You know, it's like. Mm. Ma'am, you talking about paper. Okay, let me not say that. Ma'am, can we just talk about paper dolls? Lord, have mercy on my soul. When I saw that, I was like, no, this is serious paper dolls. Like it's the 1970s paper dolls. With the tabs on the clothes. Yes, girl. And I didn't like playing with them things back then. I knew that shit was wrong. It used to frustrate me to no end. Oh, to no end. Like how I'm addressed this, the damn clothes don't even stay on. And I know you need them to come off so you can re- – no. But, and then the tabs bend, they come – no. I didn't like it as a child, and I sure as hell ain't going to like it as an adult. That's just ridiculous to me. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I said paper doll. You remember them things that used to clean? What were they? I don't know what they called them. Maybe clean. I forget. But something like that would be better. But anyway – um, yeah, I couldn't believe that. When I saw them tabs, girl, I almost fell out the chair. Girl, paper doll. I said, what in the hell is this? I was like, oh, she was serious. I mean, like, paper doll, like, throwback paper doll. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so back to my dilemma that I need you to talk me through. Okay, what's your dilemma? I want a Hobonichi. Oh, get one. Um, <laughs> that was not easy. I mean, that was too easy. <laughs> it wasn't. You talk. You, you asking the wrong one if you were looking for somebody to talk you out of it. We only well, go around this world talk once. Me through it. Like I want small, and it can go in my purse. We wanted to try something completely different for our Labor Day sale this week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's small. It can go in my purse. 
and I can. Can't you, can't you get the little mini hobo? Yeah, they have it in AC. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they have it in AC. But I just bought this um, cover from, you know, my favorite people, the Yardley, Yardley Leather people over, mm-hmm. in, over in Malaysia. And they okay. sent me like a wallet. And so now I'm like, hmm, maybe I can. So I got me another B6 cover um, because I have a B6 allergy that I got to use at some point, right? Um, I used one as my journal already. Um, anyway, anyway, so now I'm like, hmm, should I order me an A6 one just in case? Okay, okay, then let's do this. Use what you have for now. The thing you just bought, you said. Um, oh, it's just a wallet, though. Oh. It doesn't have a book in it, but it's just a wallet. But it makes well, me think about a hobo week. Yeah, I think you should. It's, you're coming up on the last quarter of the year. So you, you, if you haven't already determined what you're going to use next year, um, now's the time. I mean, you can do a hobo. I mean, what's, what's it going to hurt? Ain't like you, you're lacking stickers to put in it. You're right. You got everything and, you need to dress it up. You just need it. And I did not realize that I've never used Tomo River, River paper. There you go. See? I was thinking the I'm going to help you time, find a reason, honey. <laughs> right. See, the whole time I thought that I was using my Stalogy and it was Tomo River paper, and it wasn't. Or some people say Tomoe. Uh, I think Tomo, it looks better to me, but okay. anyway. Tomo, Tomo, yeah, potato, whatever. potato. Right. <laughs> um, so anyway, anyway, um, yeah, so, hmm. Okay. Now I have to decide on the Hobo or the A6. Hobo. Or A6. I mean, the weeks or the A6? For the, well, you've done A6 before. No, I haven't. Oh. I have an A6 allergy that one of the Planner Outlaws sent me. Shout out to Planner Outlaws. I ain't shout y'all out in a long time. Y'all still be listening? Outlaws, <laughs> let me know if y'all be listening. Because I don't think y'all be listening. I think y'all done ditched me. Yeah, they probably have. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> let me let them know I'm back. So they can start listening again. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, let me. Oh, now that. next Sunday. Okay, wait, wait. Let's back up. Let's do your astrology thing. So, I the hobo is heavy on your mind. So I think we will. We you work it out in your head for another week or so, and then wherever you land, that's what you get. Okay. You got to weigh it. But I think you should. The hobo seems to be the thing that you really want to do. And again, you do it. If you don't like it, who cares? It's not like we don't have another million planners hanging around that we don't use. That we haven't used. You want me to see if I can find mine and, and you can use that one? Um, yeah, of course. And you know what, though? Here, okay, you're right. Here's what I'm going to do. I have the Sterling Inc. Um, subscription, right? Uh-huh. Every month, Sterling Inc. gives you the date. So okay. I could really just use an A6 Sterling Inc. and just put the date on a month, right? Mm-hmm. Like not a monthly, but just the date um, for each day on the page, and then see if I like the shit. Problem okay. solved. Okay. Look at that. We talked that through. Yeah. Problem solved. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. We're okay. going to do it in December. Look at that. That's how we work things to out. Yeah, we're going to use our stash. We're shopping our stash. I'm shopping my stash this year. I can't buy nothing else. I'm not either. You know what? Also, what? this is a bad word, but I'm going to say. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I think not I'm going to my spot. It's a B word. I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to try the budget. Oh. oh, you know what, though? This is the sad part, and this is horrible, as old as I am. 
I don't really know how to budget. Like, because this is who I am. I'm going to be like, oh, but I really want it. Or I'll be like, well, I didn't do this last week, so I can do this now. <laughs> so I I don't know. If somebody has budgeting tips, just let me know. Because I don't, do you know how to budget? Like, I mean, like really budget, like set yourself, you know, because there's people who do like, oh, we're going to do $100 for entertainment or $200 for groceries. I'm going to blow it every time, I, I believe. I feel like I would. Because I'm I'm also, I'm very much a, um, what do you call that? For the moment. Shopping. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know, that, but you know, what they call it when you shop at the at the register, at the little things by the register, you know, I, I'm one of impulse shopper. That's who I am. Yeah. That's that's who I am. I'll be like, oh, that's cute. I'm not going to be like, oh, but that's not in the budget. You know, <laughs> I'll right. find a way to make it fit. Nothing prepared me for budgeting more than being broke as fuck. Well, yeah, when yeah, when you're forced, and I'm okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Not I'm not gonna. You're not gonna be broke as fuck, but you have to live as if you are. As if you, you are. To, yeah. Hey, bro, this is the only check I got this month. You know who's good at at living like they broke? Broke folk. No. Daddy. <laughs> she is real for this. She was like, you know I ain't got no money for that. I feel like, too. <laughs> you do have money. Okay, you do. She was like, yeah, I, I want to do this, but yeah, I don't have no money for that. And then he'll go bring home a TV or something. And it's like, wait a minute. You didn't have money. You didn't for have money to, for me to go get an ice cream. <laughs> but you got, you know, you got something money for silly like that. Yeah, it. you know, it's always something that doesn't, like, it just out one outweighs the other. It's like, well, we could have done. But he's like the government, though. It's like he has funds for certain things, right? Yeah, allocated. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, he allocates his funds, honey. And so, no, I didn't have money for Dairy Queen, but I do have money to go to Best Buy. <laughs> you know, that's, that's how he does it. Electronic funds we have. <laughs> yeah. Um. And so I have been very much so like, bitch, let me tell you something. Hmm. I have not told you. Maybe I should tell you off the air. I'll oh, just say yes. Yeah. If, you, if you're thinking that, probably so. <laughs> well, I mean, it's about my, I guess I can violate my own HIPAA violation. So I went to the doctor this week. Mm-hmm. Do you know the motherfucker told me I need to be on oxygen all the time? 24 by 7? Bitch. Why? Because they say my oxygen numbers drop. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to do that. For what? I'm like, I'm sad. I've been breathing hard. So anyway, I know, but if they're telling you that, you don't want your, you got to have enough oxygen in your blood. So I tell, I call the people to find out about the oxygen. Girl, why oxygen $100 a month? Oh, I thought it was going to be more than that. What? I said, I was told to be free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I go outside, that oxygen is free. I said, I'll just keep keep breathing deep. <laughs> it was like, ma'am, you're not breathing deep. That's the problem. No, exactly. And you're going to have more carbon dioxide. I said, $100. Girl, I'm going to start, and you know me, I'm going to start applying for jobs. Who am I to work again? Oh, Girl. Lord. You should probably start applying for jobs. So you can pay for oxygen? So I can pay for some damn oxygen? Ah, we're going to have to get a GoFundMe going. $1,200 is all you need a year. I said, I, girl, you talking about you need to be on oxygen all the time. I'm sorry to my family if you're listening and you didn't know that. Um, I just came Well, but since y'all listening, we got a GoFundMe going. Uh, yeah, you can buy me a coffee. <laughs> and we'll do You'll buy her a liter of oxygen. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coffee. Yeah. Well, we're just going to donate it toward it. I can't quit on there and buy me some oxygen. Because then folks going to be like, you're using your disability as a. Well, hell, everybody else do it. Girl, oh, let's check on Big and Betty while we own you. Who? There was Big and Daddy. Last episode, there was. We 
touched on the topic of this nice young lady that we have called Begging Betty. Jesus Christ. What's she begging for? That's what they're killing me about TikTok. See, you're not on TikTok. But, honey, when I tell you everybody on TikTok is begging somebody, if well, it's put out their house, or it's always something. She has been begging for stickers. Oh, and no, not for stickers. Yeah, yeah, begging for stickers. Um, the last thing was I want to go get her girl disc bound daily and a Kellogg plan weekly planner. Anyone have an extra one that they aren't using? Oh, yeah. Oh, what well, the I hell? That she finally got her hands on a book from Live Love Posh, thanks to a friend. And I also got an out of date gratitude planner that I'm redating. So thank you to her friends who are following for this. Uh, but I like the way she's doing the, I, I got an out of date. Yeah, you ain't have to say out of I don't like people that big like that. Uh-uh. Um, five days ago, you want, um, I hate when people make stickers and only send them to other big people. Send some to us that are little and get real reviews. Ma'am, they do that when they put you on their PR scene. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I one can't these, begging people. One of these days, um, Wrong Wrong commented on her post and said it was beautiful, and she just asked Wrong Wrong flat out, like, hey, can you send me one of your sticker books? I can't afford it. Oh, no. Yes, she did. Did Wrong Wrong respond? No. Nah. <laughs> yeah, she left, left on red. Wrong, wrong was like nah. Um, well, I guess she hasn't begged since in about five days. Okay, so let me tell y'all something else that I just thought about. This is about the travel world. So I went last week for my TSA pre-check uh, meeting appointment interview, whatever it is they call it, to do much besides pay and give them your passport or whatever so I can put that in the system. The very next day, I got a TSA pre-check number. Okay. okay. I'm a little worried that people are just getting them so easily. They say it could take up to 30 days. but well, They see that you're a frequent flyer. Um, oh, you think so? Yeah. They check all that, girl. They ain't just giving it to you for the fuck of Well, that's the way it felt. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh. I was, you know, even though I wanted it for my flight tomorrow. <laughs> but I was like, uh-uh, I was willing to wait <laughs> them days to get that. Because it just uh-huh. made me a little afraid. Nah, don't be afraid. Listen, they ain't playing. You know how many guns they <laughs> Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, because I told you I lost my phone, right? No. And I had to go, and when the girl told me, oh, when you get back, you can look, there's a bucket, and literally a bucket where these phones were, and there were guns, there were laptops. I mean, the stuff that people leave, and I'm like, wait, this stuff just got here this week? No, stuff had been there forever. I like, how do you think you come back and get your stuff? Did unless they just feel like it's gone. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I say unless they just feel like this stuff is gone, but go ahead. Did you know that there was a site called Unclaimed Baggage? Yeah, there's a place in Alabama. Okay, well, I know that you can order online, and a lot of people order Kindles from there. And so I've been looking at a new Kindle Paperwhite. <laughs> Wait, they are on? No, so that comes from the bag. This is stuff people leave at, like, the TSA or it gets confiscated, and they tell you to come back. Like, I think the guns you could come back or something, I don't know. But, no, that's what this is just stuff that gets confiscated at the TSA. Um, my phone you know, didn't get confiscated. I left it. Bucket? Like the no. How after a while, like, hey, this is still unclaimed. Oh no, I don't know, but I know the but the luggage itself, yeah, I get that. But that's these people shit that they didn't lost and they never gave the people their stuff because they don't pay them for it. So no, wait. So now there's a website. Yeah, it's called Unclaimed Baggage. Oh shit. 
Nice. Now, nah, see, there, there go my budget. <laughs> you done blew my budget already. Uh-uh, uh-uh, not me, not me. I'm just helping the people claim their unclaimed shit. Yeah. Let's see. Unclaimed luggage. Yeah, I see. Unclaimed bag is the nation's only retailer of lost luggage. The five. They have AirPods, but that's gross. That's been in people's ear. Girl, all they do is take them things off and sand them some more. What you mean? The ones that, that no, I'm saying they've been in people's ear. Yeah, but some of them you just take, oh, I guess I got the AirPods Pro, where you can take the little soft part off and then put it back. I mean, put another one on there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe, so I don't know how they work because I don't have Apple. Well, I call all of them AirPods. If they go in my ear, it's the AirPods. Oh, okay. If they go over my head, it's a headphone. Oh, I see the Kindle Paper White 2 gigabytes. Yeah. I need that. Um, so did you buy anything during this Labor Day weekend sale? No. Who was buy, who was selling stuff besides the paper oh. dolls? The girl. And she not even oh, selling I, A Glittery Life Players had a coupon. Did they? And Jane's Agenda has like 15 spots left for her. Subscription. Is for she, October. Did she do a, oh, last October. Her shit was fast. It's good. It looks good this year, too. Oh, let me go look. But I didn't get it. What? Mm-mm. Listen, I'm starting my budget and everybody. If y'all don't see it, I see it. She is an enabler. Not even trying to help my cause. Um, I'm just trying to... I, by my sadness, because they told me I got to be on oxygen, so I'm sure oh, that makes me myself. sad too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna look at the October. Okay, so is she doing an advent box? That's what I want to know. Things agenda? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen any advent boxes except the one that somebody posted. Oh, with the scary all year round. I think it was them. She does her advent for Halloween. Oh, that was Halloween. Okay. Yeah, she does a Halloween. I guess so. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, guess what else I did? What? I showed somebody else the no hands things, and so now somebody else sees it, and they can't see. Yeah. You can't unsee it. Can't unsee it. Um. So I have bought two. Uh, was, um. I bought two Advents so far. Mhm. I think. I think I bought Villa Beautiful. Wait, for Christmas? Was it Villa Beautiful? Maybe it wasn't. No, it was Rebel Ink Co. and Cricut Paper Co. Hmm. Okay, I bought those two for Advent Palooza. Um, I need one more Advent box. So I'm waiting on Villa Beautiful. Please let me know when that one comes so I can get that one. You know your favorite person in the world is going to text you about it. She texted me today because there were some pins. She just she's a, she's my enabler too, which I appreciate because I be forgetting. I don't see stuff like I used to. Okay, honestly, I'm exhausted. I can't wait to just stay still. Yeah, I, I could believe that. Yeah, this year has exhausted me. Um, okay, so as far as sales, the Cuteness Boutique has a 30% off sale. Um, I know them. Yeah, um, Trika. She has a 30% off sale. Um, who else has um, a sale? Everybody had a sale this weekend um, for Labor Day. You know, any excuse. Oh. Any excuse. I'm going to start using my stuff. Yeah, we got to start shopping our stash. I still got Villa Beautiful Kids from 2020. 2020. I 2020, do too, but I have used some of them. Like, I've used some of the stickers. Mm. Uh, and the little plastic envelope thing, thing I'm going to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Um, I have not bought any of her new things, the mini kits. I didn't see the next one. The mini kits? Yeah. You know, she, uh, give me a mini kit. Um, you know, the last one she had was, it was childish looking. Um, it was like ice cream shop or something like that. On Villa Beautiful, you know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. Oh, it was called Sweet Stuff. Oh, yeah, that was a childish one. I remember yeah. that one. So I got the anniversary kit. That was the last one I got. So she hasn't released the... But the anniversary one hasn't come yet, right? No. Uh-uh. But when uh, the when the advent box comes, I will let you know, and I will let all our listeners know, so that they, too, can be enabled and buy one also. Um. I'm trying to try new shops so that I don't have all the same things. Oh, um, Isis Ella Jules had a new release. She also had a big bundle grab bag um, of things from the, not the new release, but from her new releases. So I thought that that was pretty good. Um, Yeah. I think that's about it. It is almost time for me to order the last quarter of my Queen's Gambit. Oh, yeah. And I'm doing really good in it. You know, I use it every day, and I'm proud of it. I like you it. You go, girl. I like that thing. I haven't quite figured out how to do a flip through of the whole year with it being in different books and all, but I'm going to make it happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you just have to do a four part. Yeah. Part quarter one. one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter, quarter four. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, I've been actually thinking about doing some flip throughs and putting it up on our YouTube channel. Did you know we had a YouTube channel? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I've been thinking about doing that. And, you know. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> You've been keeping us. I am so proud of you. You've just been keeping it going, getting people to uh, come and sit in, guest speakers and guests on the show, YouTube channel, Facebook page. I am so proud of you. Thank you. Um, I'm really excited about it. Um, uh, it. It. It brings me joy. It brings me joy to be able to talk all the shit um, unfiltered.ly You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, I'm not sponsored by Go Wild. Um, right. I'm not sponsored by, you know, major corporations. I'll say. Mm-hmm. Um, we have our sponsors. Shout out to ShopThePaperFan dot com and shout out to Frolicking Brains. Um, you know for sponsoring us. Thank you to everybody who's bought us a coffee, all that good stuff. Um, those are the people that we do it for. We don't have to worry. Yeah, but it makes it able to be able to just keep it real. You don't have to sugarcoat it, make it yeah. cute, and it ain't cute. Yeah, and that's what makes me, you know, happy. Oh, I'm good. That bullshit. Yeah, just say what you want. Um, and I found out, let me take, girl, let me be messy. Oh, go ahead, girl. No, that's what I like. I found out that, I found out why I was put out of Coco's Vision finally. Oh, what happened? thought that I was talking shit about them. Oh, my God. That is so immature, number eight. But it was told by somebody completely, you know, different. And she said that once I left the dark side, once I was no longer affiliated with that person, Mm -hmm. then I would be able to get back in the group, which I don't mind, you know, because I like the doll and I love Sexy Jesus. 
Yeah, but I don't like that. I don't like that. You don't want me, you don't want me. I'm going to just be quiet. I don't want to fool with your stuff, but I don't like that. See, <laughs> but that's who I am. Review, if it's in a rear view mirror, I'm good. Keep it back there. Yeah. I'm moving forward. But that's just who I am in everything in life. Relationships, everything. <laughs> if you back there, stay. I'm good. Hey. Um, I think, though, that the bad part is that it, I really think it has a lot to do with the other person and their shitty business models. And if it wasn't so shitty for them, then maybe I wouldn't, you know? Yeah, but you're not a partner to, to her. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you no, know, you you're right. Stuff. But that I don't like. Don't, don't threaten me with a good time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> but I get it. I can see it from both sides, though, so I'm not going to just be so narrow-minded. I do. I see it from both sides. But that's just the, that's just the drama in it all. Yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> um, it's me. Well, you know what? If I was going to, let me just say this, qualify it. Um, If I was going to put you out, I would say to you, hey, Riri, you know, I, there's some issues, there's some confusion, and to keep less confusion, to keep the confusion down, you know, once you are, you know, there comes a time where you're not in a relationship with this group or that person or that shop, let us know. In the meantime, it's just like any breakup, right? Yeah. It's not you, it's me. So when you're done over there, you can come back over here. But until then, I would just like to not do this. You know, that's the more mature way to handle things instead of just cut you off and then come back later. You find out through the grapevine, this is why. I mean, I don't like that. We're adults, or should be. That's bad I think, business. No, I think they put me out before they even knew that it wasn't me. You get what I'm saying? It was like, hey, Coco, you were talking shit about you was talking shit about me. And it was like, no, it wasn't me. It was you. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. it was mixing up the two Coco. So you was the one talking shit, and they thought it was them. Okay. Which is even a better reason to not do it like that. (laughs) But it's fine. I think it's great, and I do think that she is a great product. So, you know, whatever you want to (laughs) do. I was just like, oh. But, you know, it's really good. You so much nicer than me, though. Yeah. I'm just glad that I found out, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I hate not knowing. Really? Whereas you don't give a fuck. I don't, don't give a fuck. I look at it like this. That's your loss, not mine. Exactly. <laughs> I haven't bought nothing. I am the prize. I am the way I look the at prize. it. But no, I get it. I know, but that's just, that's your nature, which is what makes you a good person. Oh. But me, on the other hand, shall I cut you off like the light company? In a minute. Yeah, I um, I was really excited to know, you know. Well, that's that's good. That's that's more, I guess. Like, oh, that's how you do me. That that's what we doing now. Mm, so I got family members I don't talk to, so hey. <laughs> you know, I ain't fooling with no, <laughs> no sticker shop. <laughs> okay, period. Yeah, I just need peace. My life is just about peace. If it ain't bringing me peace, no, well, I'm good. I don't care who you are. But that's just me. But I've always found more. Well, I ain't going to say that because I don't know who's listening. So. Okay, tell me. You know you got to say it now. Yeah, I'll tell you. Okay, well, that was that. What so is- I'm going to New Orleans on Sunday. Ooh, you want to go see your family? 
I'm going to go see my uncle because he's in the hospital and he's been there for a little while. And so um, tomorrow he's supposed to have a procedure, so me and daddy going to dress Sunday. Come back Monday. Oh, that'll be fine. Yeah, I ain't staying in New Orleans too long, girl. They're crazy out there. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to go do. So we can Saturday or whatever you want to do. Okay. So you say Saturday, next Saturday? I'm leaving Sunday morning, but we can do this next Saturday if you want. Okay. We'll do the show. We can talk about it. Yeah, we will. Um, I would just like to body for all of their oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank everybody for all of the love and support that you give us. Um thank you for listening. Thank you for laughing. And please send in your responses because I need to know. Did you fall down the Hobonichi website? I mean, did you fall down the resist did you resist the call of the Hobonichi? Or did you just fall down the Sterling Ink Rabbit hole? What are you doing for next year? Are you sticking to what you have? Are you trying something new? Are you shopping your stash? Please let us know. You can email us at Real Talk. Um, I mean, you can slide in my DMs. You know how much I like that. Uh, Real Talk. <laughs> You're crazy. Real Talk with Riri on IG. You can join the Realist, R E A L I S T S, on Facebook. Um, we are reading the 12 week a year, and we'll be discussing it on September the 17th, I believe. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> we'll be discussing it at our planner party for Black Girls Read, too. Oh, in your Black Girls Read group? Yeah, but it's really a thing with the realist. You should pay attention to our group more often. Girl, listen. I was going to see next year, I'm going to get on everybody's nerves because I'm going to be so involved. I'm going to be so involved in every case next year. I'm going to get on everybody. I'm going to be like, wait, where were you in 23? Okay, okay, 23 and me, okay? Um, I was celebrating 50 all year. All year long. All year. My family's so sick of me. I know they are. Okay, me too. Shit. <gasps> I'm the worst. Come to tell, work. tell the little toddler to let you know when – um. My surprise birthday party is. <laughs> okay. Hey, little baby toddler, can you tell me when the surprise birthday party is? She don't listen no more either. I'm about to she sleep, girl. She be sleep. <laughs> they be in the bed at 8 o'clock over there, girl. Talk about old people. Girl, oh. Um, okay, so find our DMs. Be sure to go check out uh, shopthepaperfan.com. Be sure to check out Frolic and Brains. They're so awesome. Buy us a coffee so you can donate to our oxygen fund or our <laughs> or just donate to the oxygen fund. Or just donate to the oxygen fund. I think you my cash app, bro, because I don't apply for a job. What the fuck? Where they do that at? Anyway, mm-hmm. we are messy and not malicious. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time. Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com renew to learn more. 
Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, Lil. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BDW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.